Uh, yo, what's up everybody? I just wanted to make this video. Uh, I didn't really know I was going to be making this until just now. Um, but just to let you know, it's 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 literally midnight right now. I was streaming earlier. Now I'm not. Um, and I just, this has been a long time coming. I just wanted to make my official video on why I love Chips Ahoy so much. Um, or maybe this will be my official review. It's kind of going to be mix of both. I'm going to tell you everything that uh, I know and love about Chips Ahoy. And uh, yeah, so I've got 10 cookies left in this. Uh, I down these these packs like daily. Um, I've been dunking these bad boys in milk since um, about as long as I can remember. It's been uh, the ultimate staple in my diet. I'm not kidding. Um, this is the family size right here. Um, and without further ado, I'm probably just going to start digging in. There's 10 cookies left. That's about how much I'm eating per day nowadays. So, uh, I've never actually revealed that information publicly and now I have. Um, <clears throat> but the very first thing that you need to know about Chips Ahoy, and some people say they don't like Chips Ahoy, um, there are, some batches are baked to absolute perfection. Other batches are good. And then sometimes there are some batches that are are like older than the skeletons in my closet. I don't know what's wrong with them. They were sealed, but you open them and it's like, Jesus Christ, who made these? Um, so I would say, uh, what's the expiration date on this? Or the date, I don't know if it's expiration. It's 20th of June. This is January. So that's like five months, five, I would say, if you're going to buy Chips Ahoy, I don't know if this is the end all be all, but try to find Chips Ahoy that are, um, like expires in like five to six months. That seems to be, that seems to be good. Don't pick up. We recently got a batch. I don't know. I don't remember if it was like Walmart or where it was. We got a batch recently, like this month or like December that expires in January. And I don't know if it's related, but. That batch has never been opened, and I had opened it, and I was like, "These cook. This is literal garbage, in a bag." Okay, so I, as much as I love Chips Ahoy, occasionally they do make batches that are not good. Um, I don't. I. This is my only gripe with Chips Ahoy. Actually, well, my other gripe is, you know, technically they're not. I mean, some of the stuff that's in these, the ingredients are not healthy. High fructose corn syrup is not good for you. Um, but this batch in particular, I'll show you a cookie now. This cookie, let me, this, this is a good cookie right here. This is baked very, very well. Um, it's going to be, it's hard, it's crunchy, I can't squeeze it. If I squeeze my fingers into it, it's not going to break the cookie. That is another good way to test this, how good the cookie is going to be. Um, as far as Chips Ahoy goes, <clears throat> if I squeeze this cookie and it just sort of crumbles in my fingers, um, those aren't the Chips Ahoy I'm talking about. The Chips Ahoy I'm talking about, don't do that. And um, Now, these cookies are good on their own. They're actually really good on their own, but you need to pair it with a glass of cold milk okay um, I don't think it matters too much this is maybe two percent I think any milk probably goes good but I'm gonna dip it I'm gonna dip it now you can hold it for as long as you'd like it really doesn't matter I actually don't normally hold it too long you just let the little drips fall off so you don't make a mess and then and you just Words can't describe. You just... The way it's like crunchy but still like melts in your mouth is just pure euphoria. I mean, truly incredible. Um, like I said, I would eat these when I was a kid. 
I think in college I was downing like at least 12 of these a night um, on top of like McDonald's and chili and pasta and pizza rolls and like lots of other things that I really shouldn't say. Um, now I'm eating like, you know, 9, 10, maybe 11. Sometimes I don't really count. Um, um, another recommendation I would, these go on sale a lot, like get two for whatever price I would, I would highly recommend buying them in sale, but I don't know if I would buy them in bulk or not. Cause again, I don't know if the cookies don't always keep well in the package, but some batches just aren't good and you do not want to buy a bulk of like packages that are not amazing. Um, but yeah, you just, you dip it in the cold milk and the way the cold milk just, I mean, the temperature and the consistency and the texture it gives to the cookies just, I mean, out of this world. I'm going to eat another one. And I like to literally just stick the whole cookie in my mouth. And just chew on it. <laughs> and, uh... The other, the one other thing I wanted to say about these, you know, they're good after a hard day. Some people come home after a hard day and they drink or they do drugs or they beat their wife. I just eat Chips Ahoy and uh, this really does it for me and I highly recommend and um, I really think Chips Ahoy is Milk's favorite cookie. Oreos are good. Oreos are really good. Uh, I do believe that Chips Ahoy are Milk's favorite cookie. So uh, that being said, I conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I uh, shed some light on what I do with Chips Ahoy. How, you know, my, my general habits with Chips Ahoy. How much I love Chips Ahoy. Why I love Chips Ahoy. Uh, I mean, really, it's just it's the taste. And uh, just how good that is for me. It's an enjoyable little moment in my night. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, comment which, um, what you liked about it or what you want to see next. Or what your favorite cookie is and tell me why. And uh, thank you very much. Goodbye. Until next time.